As tensions escalated in Arunachal Pradesh with the clash between the Indian and the Chinese army, there's been an uneasy build-up going on in the Doklam region, the site of a 73-day-long standoff in 2017. The Doklam face-off in 2017 at the India-Tibet-Bhutan tri-junction triggered a show of strength from both sides. The Chinese are still holding on to territory in Bhutan, which is not to India's liking. India Today gets you the full picture showing how China is trying to increase its control of the region. Will this turn into another potential standoff? Ankit Kumar from the India Today open source intelligence team and Abhishek Bhalla, who heads our National Bureau, collaborated to file this report. <laughs> Doklam, the site of 73 days standoff between India and China in 2017. Five years on and at the back of escalated tensions in Arunachal Pradesh, the spotlight has shifted back to the India-Tibet-Bhutan tri-junction. Could Doklam be the next flashpoint? The Chinese are still holding on to territory in Bhutan, which is not to India's liking. Intelligence reports suggest that Chinese have beefed up infrastructure across the borders. About 9 kilometers from the India-Bhutan-China tri-junction, China continues to expand its presence in the Bhutanese territory. Pangda village, set up in 2020, has witnessed expansion in the south. A set of new buildings along with a bridge over the Torsa water body can be seen in the recent satellite imagery analyzed by India Today. They also show more ground clearance further south of Doklam. In the cluster of new villages approximately 20 kilometers from the border in the north called Langmarpo being set up by China in the Bhutanese territory, rapid construction continues. These areas include Saiburu, Kaitangsha and Quill. The over two-month standoff that was resolved in August 2017 was triggered after Indian troops stopped the Chinese road construction in Dokla. While the Chinese are constantly increasing their firepower, the Indian Army is making efforts to match up. The Indian Army has also been enhancing its infrastructure and pushing its deployment forward. With the two sides just meters away and India concerned about China's new construction, including a critical bridge, tension is simmering and could lead to another standoff. With Ankit Kumar and Abhishek Bhalla, Bureau Report, India Today. After the setback it suffered at Yangtze, China is trying to take control of strategic heights in the area. It failed to do so on the 9th of December, but China has been building up in a big way on its side in Boomla. The Indian forces on the ground are prepared. Gaurav Savant, India Today's strategic affairs editor, with this ground report. Days after the dragons failed incursion in Tawang's Yangtze region, the Chinese army is beefing up its presence in other regions. Sources tell India today, after the Indian Army foiled the PLA's attempt in Yangtze, China has deployed its army in the Bumla sector. India, however, enjoys the upper hand here. At an altitude of about 14,000 feet, the India Today team is currently in the Tawang Bumla sector. We are on the Tawang Bumla axis. Um, the army is deployed here in numbers. After the Chinese army failed in Yangtze, the information was that uh, the Chinese are building up in large numbers in Bumla. Again, high altitude, again with a history of 1962, but lessons learned, the army is deployed in numbers. Along the way, there are some, uh, some gun positions, some um, 155 mm howitzer positions, but we are not showing those positions to you uh, as they would compromise security. There are bunkers of the forces, uh, both of this time, and uh, you know some of the older bunkers of the 1962 war can also be seen uh, around here. 
the army is deployed here in good numbers uh, and there is some troop movement that is also taking place. Simultaneously, there is an air exercise that is on. The Eastern Air Command uh, is carrying out its command level exercise. The waterfalls and lakes along the Yang Tawang, Bumla axis are a major reason behind China's incursions. The Tibetan population living here considers the water from these lakes and waterfalls holy. At an altitude of about 12,500 feet, the India Today team is currently at the Sangatsar Lake. This is not very far from the line of actual control. In fact, the waterfalls and holy lakes in this region are one of the principal reasons for the friction between India and China. Now, lakes and waterfalls around Yangtze. Now, uh, Tibetans on the other side of the line of actual control also consider this extremely holy. Uh, the Tibetans on this side, they visit these holy waters um, and, and they pray there. Now, India dominates these heights. Uh, if you look around, look at those jag peaks right behind me. Uh, these altitudes are anything between 12,500 go all the way up to 17,500 and this is where the army is now deployed in big numbers. India today is the only channel to come uh, so close to the line of actual control near Bumla in Tawang on the axis uh, to Yangtze. Now these are three different axes where we are reporting from ground zero to be able to get you an assessment of the deployment on the Indian side and the preparedness on the Indian side. That preparation is whether it's the infrastructure development, um, building civilian areas also. In fact, at the Sangatsar Lake, uh, while you see a lot of military deployment, you also see civilian vehicles here because the effort of the administration here is to ensure that civilians, whether in Arunachal Pradesh or from the rest of the country, also are stakeholders in protecting India's territorial integrity. And that is why the Sangatsar project is extremely significant. Religion, strategy, military and location. Multiple reasons why China is desperate to come into this area. Equally important why India is very keen to hold on to this territory. And this leads to friction. There are multiple. There are about eight friction points in this area. Yangtze perhaps the most sensitive of those eight. But even now there is massive deployment. That's what sources are telling India today. The local Tibetan leaders in Tawang believe that China desperately wants to change status quo along the LAC in order to control these lakes and waterfalls. Multiple waterfalls and 108 lakes in this part of Tawang form the bone of contention between China and India around the line of actual control in this region. Now these waterfalls and lakes are considered holy by the people of Tibet. They are on the Indian side of the line of actual control. People from Tibet want this holy water. China has desperately tried to control the 108 lakes and the waterfalls. It is said that one of the spiritual leaders of Tibet had sprinkled his prayer beads and wherever those prayer beads fell, 108 lakes were formed in those areas. The people here worship this water. China has repeatedly tried to take control of the access to these lakes. China has repeatedly failed like it did at Yangtze. Sources tell India today the Indian Army has done a major deployment in the Tawang sector. With both the countries raising their presence, a de-escalation won't be easy. With Gaurav Savant in Tawang, Bureau Report, India Today.